Hello everyone, this is Age of Dune and Purple Oak. We are shoutcasting one of our more recent games. I am the Tarek, he is the Twitch playing. The better um, player. Something like that, yes. We have, on our team, we have Gangplank, Amumu, and Mordekaiser. Gangplank's going top, Amumu is jungle, and Mordekaiser's going mid. Uh, we're against a Nidalee, top, Graves, Soraka, bottom, Welcome to Summoner's Malphite, Rain. Jungle, and Gragas mid. Um, during this one, we actually decided to invade, so there's a little excitement coming up soon. We are in the 1200 to 1300 ELA range, and this is our game. This is us invading. As you can see, Gragas just saw, so we decided not to go ahead and invade. Yeah, if you look at the Amumu, he got his bandage tossed initially because he thought we were going to invade. He didn't wait to rank it, so... Fortunately, he now has to jungle with bandage toss, but that's okay. Because yep. it, it worked out in the end. I definitely hurt him on his jungle, but... Hopefully it's okay, it's Amumu. He's used to crying. Yes. As you can see, we decided not to invade because they saw us, so we all backed off. Um, I went down to Tribush, as did Twitch. Uh, we made sure to go the long way, because we've had instances where people did invade our jungle when we weren't looking, and uh, Purple Oak here got caught as he was coming down, which is always unfortunate. Ah, uh, giving a kill to the opposing AD carry. Who would have thunk that would make your lane hard? Yes, imagine that. Alright, so when we started Wolves... Everything started there. He's immediately going to blue. Needs to say he uh, definitely needed a decent pull there. I'd say he got it. Mm hmm. Only took about what three hits before he smote. Was his yeah. smite down? He smited the wolves. No, he he used smite on the uh, blue. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. That's goofy. He goes in. I get a shot off. Rat a tat tat. As you can see, Twitch is uh, not so underpowered as people believe right now. We've already got Graves down pretty low. But um, Graves does have a uh, potion. Uh, you mean a Soraka? That too. Soraka <laughs> did pink ward here to try to counter ward me, but unfortunately for her, my ward's way up here, so she didn't even notice that. So her pink ward is just kind of a waste there. They actually think we're unwarded at the moment because of that. Not realize that when we were playing this game. Yeah. So we're just chilling out. I'm farming like a good AD for once. For once. Um, just kind of denying there. See, little things. Every time he comes into CS, I just go up and uh, force him back a little bit, make him pay for coming in to try to shoot things. Generally trying not to lose my own CS while doing this. Yes. I'm a pretty aggressive AD player. Uh, especially with Twitch, because getting those stacks on them and then expunging is just ridiculously powerful. Um, I've found anyway. Ford and Gragas are mid trading out. Ford is kind of coming out ahead on this, so he, he's doing quite well. Yeah. Uh, Gangplank versus Nidalee, and yeah, it's just a fire pest at the moment. Ah, uh, what else is top? Executed. So uh, unfortunately, uh, a movie just died to wolves. Yeah. He, uh, went in a little too low health. Yeah. So, As such, I'll leave. Malphite is deciding he <clears throat> might just take advantage of it, but he decided against it. He's going to go gang mid. And Mord easily avoids it. Yeah. Didn't even take damage. Indeed. So, apparently, Graves actually did see our ward. That's the interesting part. Took yeah. Yeah, they didn't really notice it, but they went in. Apparently, this is where Malphite starts his counter jungle. I think he's waiting for a Moomoo to get to his red. He just decides to start it. Yes. Which um, is unfortunate for a Moomoo, because that's a decent amount of XP. Grave yeah. Soraka finally pushing back out again. Yeah. We're on ward. I'm kind of nervous, but not too yeah. nervous. I made sure to ward in the tribush, because I knew that their pink ward would not counter that. Yeah. I'm 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 being a little goofy here. I'm pushing the lane a little bit more than I need to be. But luckily since it's already pushing on us, I'm not too worried. Malphite's coming in for a gank, and he just to say we see it. 
yeah. so we immediately fall back. And one of the runs away. One of the dishing it out together. Something kind of cool that I've noticed playing Twitch, you can actually keep a ward in this bush and it'll be quite effective. Um at least as Twitch, because you need less warning time as Twitch, generally speaking. Because you can just go invisible and leave most of the time. You can get away that way. Um, he's very hard to gank now, which I like a lot. That's something I've been liking about the character. Yes. Yeah. Just pruning my lane a little bit, trying to keep from pushing under towers so I don't lose CS. As you can see, Gragas was forced to go back by the Mord, so Mord now has a nice little... Mm -hmm. Nice little lead there. Yep. Well, now we're able to heal the purple oak. Get him up. And yeah. here we go. This was one of my favorite part of the game. So we go in on them. I'm invisible. I'm just helping damage to rock up, helping damage on graves. He decides to ignite me, which was very unfortunate, but. He goes down to the X punch poison combo, and we both flash out. Now, we could have just left and been happy about it, but instead we decided to go back. Sure, I can think she can handle us. Stunned. And, uh, yeah. There's a nice little double kill. Mm hmm. That put us very ahead this early in the game. Malphite yep. decides to come in to help, but it's a little bit too late for that, so. He ends up just pushing the lane. Keep it from his tower. Yeah. What they didn't realize is they should have really save that pink ward for their lane. A lot of the time they will, but unfortunately by that time it's too late. I will often, um, if I have extra money from like a first blood or a double kill, I'll buy a pink ward myself and put it in lane just to counter ward them for um, their pink ward to take it down very quickly. <clears throat> Meantime, Nita and Gangplank are still trading up top. They both have minor heals, so they're able to kind of offset each other. Yeah. Not much happening up there. Malphite's going for blue, he's going to give it to Gragas, which is always nice for the AP carry to get the blue this early in the game. Yeah. Second Taking blue. Look at CS. Uh, Twitch is currently at 28 versus Graves 25. Uh, mm -hmm. Gangplank's 36 versus Nita's 38. Mimu, he's jumping to 31 versus 29 for Malphite. Uh, Mord has 48 versus Gragas is 45. And I got zero, Soraka has one. We're pretty much even on both sides. Soraka's a horrible support. She stole CS from his, from her 80. Yes. Okay. Here I go in. You know, we had perfect timing on this one, I felt. Uh, Graves got away just barely, but we forced him off lane. Yes, yeah, so he has to go back again, giving us a little bit more of a lead from CS. Yeah, especially with levels. Yep. And That's I another ward really to nice counter ward them. Mm -hmm. And they're gone. So now they're behind on money, behind on time. Just not looking good for them. Not yet. Yeah. Started out nice when they see uh, the poor Amuzu get killed by the jungle, but yeah. we turned it around fairly quickly. Yeah. Amuzu doesn't really do much for the most of the game. Uh, for most of the early game. He's just farming, trying to get that level 6, you know. It's just important as a move, but... Otherwise, you know, all the lanes seem to be able to hold quite nicely without him, so it worked out. Here the Soraka decides to ward. Unfortunately for her, it doesn't turn out well. Nope. <laughs> now. There's pings going down over here. Looks like they were worried about Malphite and mm -hmm. Gragas. Nothing ended up coming of it. Yeah. They see the Graves. ward, so they know where they are, and they know they're okay now. Graves goes back yet again! Um, originally, Tarek didn't know uh, he was going back, um, but that poison and x sponge combo was just insane. Just keeping those dots, stacking them slowly, just amazing damage over time. Yes. Oh. Ward's up here still, harassing Gragas a bit. Mm -hmm. Gragas trying to get some harass in, but Mord's shield is just too much. Mord is not even taking damage. Now it looks like they're setting up for a nice little gank here, and Mimu's coming getting ready. Gragas doesn't know it, so he's about to, uh, kind of nice quick. As you can see, we are coming up from the bottom to help. And Alpha uh, in here. He flashes out. Gangplank throws his ult down here to help out. Ult! And... And Gragas! 
and Malphite thinks he's gonna get away. I stun him, and Malphite is dead as well. So we ended up losing a two. They, they ended up losing two for our one, and it all came out pretty well. Yep, and that double kill went to me, so our AD carry is now fed. Yes. Soraka went ahead and counter warded here, and as I saw where her word was, I went ahead and placed mine up here to give us still a lot of warning and to get around her ward there. Yeah. Didn't want to get counter warded again. Exactly. We like we like having vision of places, go figure, right? Yes. As you can see here, Gangplank is starting to win his engagements with the elite. He's now way ahead of her. Lord just took down a turret. Yeah. So that gave us all a lot of gold. We're currently mm -hmm. about 4,000 gold ahead, which is always nice. Mm -hmm. Gangplank and Soraka playing super passive at the moment. Hiding out in the bush. Can't say I blame them. Yeah, that Gangplank bot lane, who would have thunk it? Yes. Right. And Soraka pink warding again. She apparently spent a lot of money on pink wards in this game. Yeah. Well, it's like smart. I am playing Twitch, so... There is that. I, I will give you that. Uh, Malphite and Gangplank going on up here. Malphite, or Gangplank is uh, doing quite a bit of damage to the Malphite here. Yeah. I found it rather odd that she kept pink warding River, though. That was what really weirded me out. I'm surprised that she didn't keep her pink wards in lane. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess she just wasn't thinking about it, or she was thinking for Gragas. But as you can see, Malphite and uh, Gangplank just did a nice little trade there. They both died. Which yeah. isn't too bad. It could be worse. Yeah. Gangplank, uh, Gragas coming back to lane with Mordekaiser. Both of them will help. Yeah. Mordekaiser wisely warding. Hate those ganks. Yeah. We're back down here. We probably could have taken that tower in that last little bit, but I would have taken tower shots, and as Twitch, you're squishy. I mean, the recent buffs did make him a little less so, but it's still just not cool. So, if I remember correctly, Graves dies to my poison before yes. Gangplank ult can get him. Yep. That Although, was the Gangplank ult did hurt him. And then here we have Malphite coming in for a gank. Uh, he just saw that we're low. I stun him in the hopes that Purple can get out. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen, but a move will come in. And yep. poor Gangplank falls. Oh, Purple Oak is now dominating, and we're taking down the tower. Yep. Immediately after the tower, we decide to take the dragon, as they have three dead. Well, they had three dead, now they're... Two of them just came back up. They've got a while. So we all go down to dragon. Finish that out with no problem. Mm. Yeah. In the previous engagement, uh, when Malphite came in, I was freaking out because... You know, as Twitch, I'm super, super low, and my ambush is down. So, you know, I yell at Tarek, wait, wait, tank him, tank him, tank him, tank him, because I'm freaking out. Uh, if it wasn't for that Amumu, the Malphite could have probably finished me off. But he decided to instead run, and then got caught in that Amumu ult, which yes. probably is what eventually gave us the kill. And then here, uh, he decided to go in and try to take out the Graves. Uh, he ended up dying because of it, but he did take out the Graves. Amumu and I came in to help. We got Soraka down a little, and she came off. Yeah. Gragas is apparently coming up top. He does not know that Mord is here. So... <laughs> Mord's gonna run. And uh, he's stealing red at the moment, and then in comes Gangplank, and the Gragas gets out of there as quick as he can. He does steal red, though. Yep. Very impressive ult there by the Gragas, stealing the red. Yes. Unfortunately, he's not going to have that ult later. And if I remember correctly, that might end up being something that hurts him. Malphite's giving him blue again, which is always nice. Mm -hmm. Such a generous Malphite. Yes. Now both Mord and Gangplank are top against Nita. He's kind of uh, looking a little bit nervous here. I wonder why. Indeed. Twitch is also coming in to help. And here we go. Yeah. She gets away. It does escape, yes. In the meantime, I decided to go in and try to help the uh, mid turret. 
But uh, against two tanky characters, doesn't turn out so well for me. Oh. And I die. <clears throat> but on the plus side, while we were dying, they're getting a ton of damage in on top of Mm-hmm. Ward and Twitch are both coming in to help mid. And as such, Gragas takes top and heads away. Gangplank took down top. In the meantime, mm. Graves and Soraka are hitting our bottom pretty hard. Yeah, there's a little bit of action here with yeah. uh, Gragas. And he does have his ulti, and he does push you away with it. Yep, I was very sad. I thought I was being clever. Like, okay, I know he's gonna go over that wall, so I was gonna catch him with my slow right over there, maybe take him out, but. Like, and there's a Soraka going like, down. Yeah. Graves is coming this way trying to escape. I see him, so I go off to cut him off, get ready to uh, stun him for the rest of the people to come up. He's running up this way. And this is definitely one of my favorite parts. He thinks he's gonna escape. I stun him under the tower. Takes a little bit of damage, and here I go chasing him down. Twitch is Did coming just... up to try to help him, help me. Gragas does not. Uh, Graves does a nice little juke. For some reason, attacks the wolves. I yeah. Him, and oh, I just took down a Graves. There was another thing that I just noticed on this replay. He ults away from you. Huh? He did. Didn't yeah. He? Yes. Right when he gets caught by the tower, he decides that he wants to fire his ult off in front of him, and I have no idea why. Might have just been a misclick. It happens sometimes. Quite possibly, but I just thought it was very amusing. Yes. Yep. And I particularly liked the uh, the fact that I, as a support Tarek, was able to take down a Graves. Granted, had he turned and fought, it might have turned out a little different, but thankfully for me, it didn't. So I went ahead and uh, pink warded here to counter ward her, and I warded the blue. In the meantime, there's a little bit of action going down up top, but not too much. A little bit of fun in the rivers. I see Soraka coming down. She pink wards and attacks my tower once, but I immediately start doing that, attacking her. She flashes away, and I get it for another turret. Uh, ward. Yep. Meantime, Gregor puts your ult into the push. That was his first mistake. Indeed. There's Gragas down. And Italy. Graves is coming up from behind, but he decides to pack off. Mm-hmm. Lucky for him, because you guys knew about it, as it was warded. Purple team's yep. turret has been destroyed. Again, Graves just randomly throws his canister somewhere. He's he seems to like just throwing odd spells out. I think he keeps trying to use his E missing. Perhaps. He might have also thought that you guys were coming, and they didn't have it voided. He figured that way it would at least prevent you guys seeing him. Right, we got a little greedy. We have a nice little attachment here. Malphite goes in the Colts. Um, I stun the Gragas, and take down the Malphite, and then the Gragas as well. Fortunately, here comes Gragas again, and Graves. Takes down Purple Oak. And then we're against Nita. Gangplank dies, and then I die. But in the meantime, we also took down the Nita. So we ended up coming up okay on that one. <laughs> Barely. It was a four versus two, but we are way ahead still. Yep. We're actually 8k gold ahead. Which is always nice. At the start of it, we were. For almost 10k gold ahead, so we lost a bit of our advantage, but oh no, we're still doing pretty well. Yep. <clears throat> as, we can, as you can see, we have the uh, the dragon is up, and the ping has gone out. Sorak is over here pushing. Trying to keep the minions off of her tower, which is always a good thing. Getting some of that farm so she can start carrying. <laughs> yes, Soraka carry OP. Quite OP. Mm. Hey. Malphite's up here getting the red. Again, our ward catches Gragas and Soraka. Here comes Soraka mm. to counter ward. I flash stun. And the poor Soraka ends up dying. The Gragas now thinks he's going to escape. 
And in fact, he does end up escaping with his little sprint. But, as we now are 5 versus 4, we decide to go ahead and go for the dragon. Yeah. I had a pretty fun time bot. I was just uh, providing a bit of a distraction so that the lane would push up. Then I'm, you know, going, heading over to go help out with Dragon, and I suddenly see Graves here, and I think, ooh, it wouldn't be fun if I could get him again. So I go out, and just completely keep him up. And I wanted to get one more stack off on him before I did my expunge, but luckily I had just enough damage to finish him off. Yes. In the meantime, we did actually get the Dragon. Purple team knows about it, as they do have their pink ward there. We all split up. Gangplank and Nita playing around up top again. Gangplank's getting some pretty good harass on Nita. Oh. Meantime, we're down bot. Turning to Soraka again. Yes. And she's dead. The Gangplank and Nita still just playing around. Nita actually escapes, although just barely. Mm. Gangplank very, very nearly got her. Mm. In the meantime, we ended up getting this tower down. Mm -hmm. And the Moid is now requesting backup in mid, so that we can take down the mid tower. Mm -hmm. Which we're more than happy to assist with. Yep. Nita's coming back out to go play with Gangplank some more. Mm. I get a nice little stun on Gragas, get a little damage, but not much. Tower goes down. Dragus is still playing. We're having a nice little team fight down here. Dragus goes down. Fortunately, two of ours have not died, myself included. He then. Dang, Blake still messing around. Those two. We ended up dying there. Dang, Blake almost gets her. One more, uh, down, one more would have so got close. her. But it was really close, but he, she ended up escaping, which is very good on her. Top lane really just played with themselves all game long. It never really seemed like they uh, had much influence on what the rest of the team was going. It was more like a 4v4. I don't know. To some extent, so, I mean, Gameplay Souls did help us out a few times. That's, that is true. That is true. Unfortunately, Nidalee apparently was no match for our Gameplay. Who, juking nice. skills into Tribush are apparently so superior that... They just gave up. <laughs> they, they did just give up. They decided they were not going to catch the gangplank, and he successfully escaped. In the meantime, he's over here looking for blue. Nothing. Sadly walking away again. Oh! I just learned that you can change your perspective. Yes, yeah. right click drag. Yes. Yep. That's very interesting. It is. So we don't have much going on. Uh, Twitch just got the red. I'm up here just going B so I can get uh, a couple wards, I believe. I'm not sure what else. And, well, nothing's happening. We do look at the items. Twitch has a Phantom Dancer, a Doran's Blade, Infinity Edge, Berserker's Grease, and a Vampire Scepter. All at 23 minutes in. Gangplank has Sunfire Cape, his Philosopher's Stone, Heart of Gold, Ninja Tabby, Atma's Impaler, and Phage. Amumu is currently at Philosopher's Stone, Rylize, Mercury's Treads, the Heart of Gold, Giant's Belt, and a Sapphire Crystal. Uh, Mord currently has a Sorcerer's Shoes, a Bissel Scepter, Amplifying Tome, and a Will of the Ancients. And I'm currently at Philosopher's Stone, Heart of Gold, Cage's Lucky Pick, Ionian Boots, Lucidity for my cooldowns, and I already have an Aegis of the Legion. And then uh, on the enemy team, we have Needle with a Warmogs, Chain Vest, Heart of Gold, and Ninja Tabby. Mm -hmm. uh, Graves has his Berserker's Greaves, two Doran's Blades, Vampire Scepter, and his Infinity Edge. Malphite has his Ninja Tabby, Philosopher's Stone, Heart of Gold, Witch of Shroud, Giant Club, Cloth, Dragus has his Death Cap, and the Negaswap Sword. Soraka has her Philosopher's Stone, Heart of Gold, Kindle Gem, and As you can see, we just got the uh, the Baron while Amumu played Distraction in mid. And then Malphite did not know that he was going to get caught there, so he ended up going down. Graves goes down, and 
works. Shiraka tries to escape. She does a flashing. She goes down. To a moment. Uber Ultra freezes her in place. She goes down. I stun the Gragas. Nidalee goes down. Gragas is trying to escape. She dies. And then we take down the tower. Ace. There's an ace. The tower goes down. Team's tower has been destroyed. And then we have the GG. Pause it here for a second. Um, if we can take a look at the uh, CS here. Graves actually did do pretty well catching up on CS. He's at 122. So he's actually not a bad player when it comes to CS, as he was able to catch up even with the massive head start that we had. Uh, Twitch has 104. He was doing more uh, killing than CS, which is really awesome because he got really ahead of that. Uh, game if I remember do what? correctly, um, when you average it out, a kill is worth 12 CS. So, I was about 60 ahead on CS as far as gold amounts. In fact, let me just check the gold amounts in general. I was double his gold yes. for most of the game. So, yeah. just remember, sometimes you can farm the enemy team just as well as minions. <laughs> yes. Gangplank has 160 versus Needle is 119, so he's definitely ahead, which isn't surprising because he was pushing her off the lane a lot. And Moomoo is at 120 versus Malphite's 80. He's also ahead. Mord has 151 versus Gragas 177. Mord is actually behind, but he's got a lot more kills and assists. I've got 14 versus Soraka's 18. Gold-wise, um, Twitch definitely has the top, followed by Gangplank. Um, even I have more than every member of their team with my items, so it ended up being a really successful game. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And thank you for watching. And come back soon. Yeah.